Hello everyone. So today I just wanted to show you how texturing can be applied to a part uh, to ultimately give it better aesthetics, uh, lower part cost, and just enhance your overall product. So for texturing, we use uh, a UV map and a UV map is pretty much a way of telling the software that you're gonna apply a 2D image, a black and white 2D image, grayscale over an area that will then render as a 3D image. So to do that, Initially, you want to create a UV map and from this you can select the part of the object that you want to map over. You would hit apply and here we see that the UV map is being overlaid on this section. Uh, it's a little bit out of line. So here we're going to align it uh, with the, the rotate feature. And there we go. So now we have the UV map in place and I now want to select uh, an image or a texture I want to create. So to do this, I'm going to select the map that I wanted to apply to. And here we have a list of all images we can use. So ultimately you have a grayscale image where you're going to tell it that, uh, you know, anything that's black would be minus one mil or plus one mil. So it's going to be embossed or engraved and, and vice versa. So anything in between will become a gradient. So for this section, I'm just gonna select the, uh, the pyramid here. Very simple and straightforward. You hit apply and now the UV map is, is done. We have the 2D image over the, the 3D object and now I want to render it in 3D. So we would convert this to a 3D texture, hit apply. And now we have a 3D image and in this case I had an offset of, of negative one for black and white stays where it is so it's ultimately removing material from the surface therefore reducing your part cost. So if we move along you want to add different textures we can do that making another UV map on the other areas. This one is also a little crooked so we just want to line that up. Add another texture so in this particular case we'll change it up to gradient diamond, apply, and we now have the UV map on this side. Now you can also scale it to create larger textures or finer textures. In this case, we're gonna make them a little bit larger and we wanna convert it to a 3D image. We have it selected and we hit apply. Great, now we have a gradient diamond. And for the last one, we're gonna add a hexagon pattern. So last UV map to create. select the last UV map, and then we're gonna select the, the honeycomb pattern. Now we have it here, it's actually a little bit, little bit crooked. Line that up, scale is fine, and render it to 3D texture. So now we have the, the final file. Uh, we're just going to reduce the mesh size so that it can be worked on without using uh, too much uh, hardware on the, the computer side. And now we have the final file. So we can see we have three different textures across the board. Um, you know, you have full customization. You can take any black and white image an overlay, whether it's a company logo or your own design, um, you know, 3D texturing can do that. And the beauty about this is it can now be 3D printed on any part. So whether you're on resin based systems or extrusions or metal, uh, this will come out quite nice off the printer. And this is pretty much how you can reduce part costs as the material is removed uh, and give your parts better aesthetics, better performance, and overall have a better product.